You're going to plan it as a car accident and it's bleeding out on the side of the road. And if we don't do something, we got no one to blame but ourselves because we're capable of trying. How can we not try? You can do that all you want, but that doesn't... Radiation alert. A nuclear scientist tells us the cleanup at Japan's Fukushima plant could take a hundred years. Society has no concept of life. Life is not something you'll find in your living room or in your garage. Life is something everybody has access to. It's something you can't buy. It's something that can't be taken away with a piece of paper. The essence of life. So humans, the species, we, we contemplate life but there's eight million species on this planet we, we couldn't care less about we tried to race in this space but we haven't even explored two percent of our oceans we conquer but we we don't have we don't understand what life is it's for we take it for granted we feel an entitlement, but we also have a, an essence about us, and you can you can disrupt somebody's essence with propaganda or chemicals or abuse or neglect. But it's like a flower that blooms, and life can bloom in even the most wicked, even the most degenerate, and even the most lost. Life, life and peace is something that we don't seem to worry about. We worry about Hollywood movies and gadgets and toys. And I just don't think sometimes that reality will ever sit in. And I know that don't make any sense to anybody. But as I explain it, the rest of this, it might make some sense to you. So we're going to lose this planet for sure. It's not a maybe. It's not an if. And it's not long away. It's, it just doesn't even seem like it's real. Fukushima was a fatal blow. It defies any kind of rationale, any kind of logic, any kind of... Any kind of trying to absorb it. The children are radioactive, so it's all over. That's over. It's it's already over. We we just won't accept it, I guess. Humans are plagues on the earth. Newspapers. Fukushima problems causing concern in US is the radionuclides cross the Pacific. EPA said no comment on the projections. It's, it's unbelievable betrayal of the radioactive plume hitting the West Coast. 
the California residents had, and many people, so many people were already aware, so many people, that they just hit it as all they'd done. Fission is unique to the planet Earth, to the human species. Uh, the other planets uh, have uh, fusion. They don't use fission because fission... Uh, so the sun creates the atoms, the elements, and the human species destroys it and, and, and um, mutates the indigenous to the solar system elements and turn them into something that nothing in the solar system has a autoimmune response for. And because otherwise... The eight million species uh, have no hope. And if we help them by proxy, we help our souls, right? Humanity as a whole has literally never experienced something like Fukushima. We'll be fighting the radiation on the order of tens of hundreds of years. We won't be around that long. We're going to wipe out the entire ecosystem in short order. I wanted to uh, dream up a fictional nightmare scenario for radioactive fallout. This is what you're looking at. This, say, if I was going to, like a fiction writer, I was going to say, you know, well, 55 is an evacuation zone, 220 million. That, that'd be a great movie. That'd be like all kinds of drama. But see, you can't see it coming at you. This is per leader. Of rainwater, and but it didn't stop coming out. When you look at the models, you, you got to appreciate it didn't stop coming out. It's still coming out. It's still hemorrhaging out or into the ocean and also up into the environment. And because you only need such a tiny amount, uh, such a tiny amount of something that's not supposed to be on the planet that has no right to exist. Before Fukushima, 100 becquerels a kilogram is stored on a nuclear waste site forever. After, they want you to eat it. It's just a handful of people, of demons. Actual, true, real-life demons. Watch how, see Japan, look at, don't take your eyes off Japan. Keep looking at Japan. Look at that spot up there where it's emanating from. Look at it. Keep looking at it. This is day after day after day after day after day. It's still doing it day after day after day. Look at that spot in Japan before it disappears. It's still emanating from there. It's still hemorrhaging from there. It's still coming out of there. That never, ever changed, okay? Radiation checks of food in Japan are only 1% of what the Belarus checked. So it shows you this complete... Uh, disregard for all life, not just humans. So there's no such thing as a benefit from a nuclear power plant. Everybody equates it with military, but that's not how you count it. You count it in atomic decays. It only takes one atom sequestering in your muscles, your organs, or your bones to give you an illness, a disease, an autoimmune deficiency, an injury like heart or liver or lung or respiratories or pituitary or adrenaline or Alzheimer's or dementia or autism or diabetes. It's around 1,800 known diseases. Humanity is an unsustainable danger to the Earth's ecosystem. Your future and the entire ecosystem and society and the 8 million species depend upon you trying to use your brain for a few minutes. That's terrible. You can't trust the system, right? Yeah, hi. Dana Durnford's calling. Uh, I've done exp expeditions along your coastline, and I notice all the species are missing. I see I was up on your coastline looking for species. For insects and birds, tidal zones, all the species are missing. Just hang on a second. <coughs> yeah, I went up and done expeditions on your coastline, 260 days, 15,000 miles of the Canadian coastline. I noticed all your species were missing in your tidal zones, all your 
algae were missing, 700 algae, 78 species of sea anemones. We only found a couple. Uh, 70 species of sponges. We only found a few. Uh, it's, the list goes on and on and on. All the species are missing. Uh, yeah, what's going on? How come you're not telling people? Yeah, go ahead, sure. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, good stuff. Thank you. Is he there right now? Is he there right now? We're wondering where all the species are. We're very upset with your latest headlines. We're thinking about coming up there and setting up a protest. Uh, for the next couple of months in front of your office. Not thinking about it, we're actually going to be doing that. We're extremely upset that you people are lying to everybody in British Columbia, particularly to the Haida Gwaii. And what gives you the right to do that? Why, why, I thought you were a journalist. How hard is it for you to walk down to your shoreline and find the species? Exactly, specifically. When they're well documented through all institutions. It's just shocking. It's, it's revolting. It's despicable. It's disgusting. It's maniacal that you're sitting there telling British Columbians that everything is normal. The Arikans, that hubris, that pompous. Everything is gone. You're telling them it's okay. It's unacceptable. We're not going to sit here and put up with it. I'm telling you right now, it's disgusting. I'm enraged. What kind of country is this? What kind of, what, kind of, what kind of world am I living in? Is there anybody out there with any integrity? Is there anybody on the planet that even cares anymore? Are you so lost in your little world that you're going to sit there and passively let these monsters, these animals, these despicable creatures wreck our planet and then hide it away? It's unbelievable that I got to come out here and do what I got to do because nobody else will do it. And even your own media, your despicable media, your disgusting, maniacal, twisted, heartless, spineless media cannot even walk down to the beach and do a species count. How is that possible? Where did we lose that part of humanity? Where is humanity? Why doesn't humanity exist anymore? What I'm doing right now, for any specific reason, only because of factual information and because of pure outrage, pure distress that you're being murdered and deceived and manipulated and lied to and treated as idiots and, and stomped and spit upon by the very institutions that you think is there to, to help you or, or protect you or inform you. Is, is the betrayal is beyond comprehension. The betrayal is un unimaginable. The, the time for pretending is over. There is no guessing about the, the lethality of these isotopes and how long they take to affect you and the autoimmune deficiencies, illnesses and diseases that show up long before the cancer and how devastating they are to you and your friends and your families and your loved ones and your communities, your pets, your animals, your ecosystem. It is time for you to grow up. It's time for you to gut up. It's time for you to, to man up. It's time for you to be somebody. It's time for you to help each other. It's time for you to band together. It's time for you to protect your own because they're not going to protect you. It's time for you to make that stand. It's time for you to take those responsibilities. It's time for you, you, for you to take care of your own business. And these people are trying to murder you. It's time to take care of your business. You better take care of it because they will destroy you. They will wreck your hopes, your dreams in a heartbeat for one paycheck. You better believe it. There's the proof. Go read their fucking story. These are monsters.